What's up YouTube? It's Rick again from NorCal and today I am not only giving away some cards but I will share with you how I make money from sports cards and I guarantee if I can do it you can for sure make money with this strategy. It's a button now. There you go. Thank you very much. But first we'll announce the winners from last week's video so we'll have two winners for the Michael Jordan, Kobe, and two other rookie cards for premium stock. So we'll go ahead and uh, draw the winners. So we have a total of 18 comments. And we'll start the raffle now. First winner is Brian Chua. I like the Jordan or Kobe. Sir, thanks for the video. So congratulations Brian and our second winner is Diego so I love a Jordan Sky MasterCard so Brian will get the Kobe and then Diego will get the Michael Jordan so congratulations Brian and Diego so just send me a direct message on my Instagram and then we'll um, send over the cards so for this week's giveaway we'll have potentially these three Prism Rookie cards. So it's for Luca, Aiton, and Bagley. The first three picks of the 2018 NBA Draft. So potential because the rewards will depend on the price of the AMC stock by the end of the month. So it's June 30 midnight. So I've been invested on AMC since early March. So I started buying it at like $8 per share and it's been a slow grind ever since. So, you know, I did my research. The stock is heavily shorted, so it has great potential to have a short squeeze. And the past three weeks, it has really gone up in value. So uh, I currently have 500 shares. The money I used to invest was for my sports card sales and some of my Dogecoin profits. So. Currently the price is at $59 per share, so the Bagley rookie card will be given no matter what the price. So if it goes up or goes down, the Bagley will be included. If by June 30 midnight the price is at least $150, then we add the, the Andrew Ayton rookie card. So it will be both the, the Andrew Ayton and Marvin Bagley rookie card. If by June 30 midnight, the price of AMC is at least $150 per share. Now, if the price of AMC goes up all the way to $300, then we'll include the Luka Doncic Prism Rookie card. So all these three cards will be given away. So uh, just one winner, okay? And you do have to like uh, this video and comment below so that will automatically put you in for the drawing and of course you have to be a subscriber so is the price range for $300 attainable well if you compare it to the game stock short squeeze back in January uh, based on this timeline it does show that it is possible uh, of course uh, as with any stocks uh, nothing's a guarantee uh, you never know how the hedge funds or institutions behave. They may further buy some naked shorts and try to uh, prolong and keep the price uh, stagnant. Uh, but the experts say that uh, there is a huge potential for a short squeeze. It's just a matter of, of when it will come. In case AMC does not reach the 300 target come June 30, I still plan to give away this Luca Prism uh, through my channel. Uh, we can have this as a giveaway once we reach the uh, 1000 subscriber milestone. Uh, we're still a bit far from that, uh, but we'll take it one day at a time and we'll see how it goes. So now I'll share with you my strategy on how I made money on sports cards, uh, but I want you to Listen to Robert Kiyosaki first, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, and about why you don't have an excuse not to make money. 
lazy people always say, I can't afford it. I don't have the money. That's why they're poor. They have a poor mindset. So instead of figuring out how to raise money, it's just really easy to be a loser. And I call it losers. It pisses them off. Because we all have the power, if we wanted to, to not be poor if we learned how to raise money. So making money in sports cards, there's two ways to do it. First is the long-term investment. So you invest in rookie cards of uh, potential goats like Kobe, LeBron, Durant, Curry. The younger ones is Luca and Tatum. Uh, but this takes time. Um, so if you need money now, it, it, this is not the, the way to go. So same thing with grading. Uh, grading definitely maximizes your profits, but uh, with PSA and BGS being back up, uh, then it's also out of the question. And of course, boxes or joining breaks uh, only do those for entertainment, so you expect to lose money. If you want to make money now or you want to raise money now, then this is the way to go. So what I would recommend is you go to eBay and you look for cheap bargains, cheap lots of good players. You can get like goats like Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, and you sell them each individually. And you make sure you offer uh, cheap shipping. Uh, so for, for example, this uh, Paul George lot I bought for uh, $207, 35 rookie cards of Paul George. It even came with a graded card. So I've been selling each raw rookie card for $16. So that's like more than two or three times the profit. Okay. Uh, another example, I bought this Jordan lot, 110 cards for, with shipping is like 80 cents each card. And uh, these cards actually, yeah, I was able to sell for, some of these I sold for like $15 each. For example, like these FLIR. Uh, Jordan 91 cards some I actually sent over for grading to PSA which I'm still waiting so another example would be this uh, Tom Brady lot I bought uh, it was like 120 pieces for $135 and I actually made enough money from that lot alone to buy this Luca RPA so the, the profit I got from that lot I just bought uh, Luca RPA for that. Uh, so a few more examples of lots I would recommend getting, like these uh, Michael Jordan inserts, these uh, Finals Jordan card, like 15 cards for $28. I sold each for $12. Uh, a few more examples of Jordan inserts. So the other thing would be when you buy these lots, uh, I would recommend uh, winning them through auction. So Usually auctions, you get more value rather than doing the buy it now. So a few more examples, this Panini Prism Pink Ice, uh, 600 cards for $200. I actually made uh, $300 from this lot already and I still had uh, like 500 plus remaining Pink Ice. And if you've been a follower on my channel, uh, you've been seeing that I've been giving these away from, through my channel as well. So a few more examples. So these lots are insane. So like, like 150 plus Prism cards. There were some Ben Simmons, Morant, Devin Booker rookie cards there. Um, even like Luka Doncic second year lots. You can get these for a decent price. And uh, some Kobe of course. So Kobe, LeBron. Jordan lots, those will sell easy. Um, I even uh, bought this lot of Rui, so I think it's a good prospect. So 19 of his prison rookie cards for $74. That's like uh, buying each for like under $4. So you can actually sell these for what, like $10, $15 now, or even $20. And if he becomes a better player, you can even um, sell it for a higher price later on. So very important when you buy these cards, uh, you want to make sure that you know what the selling price are for each card. And you want to know, you want to target at least times two or times three uh, profit from your investment. So for example, these Paul George, each were selling for 
19 dollars uh, each rated rookie so this uh, 16 dollars with free shipping this is actually my card so when you know the lowest price you can actually put these up for a lower price so when you, someone searches for a paul george rated rookie and then they look for the lowest buy it now um, card they'll see my listings which is the 16 dollars with free shipping and for the free shipping usually what i'll do is i'll use the ebay uh, uh, shipping method which is like 51 cents uh, when you post these slots you do want to make sure that you put uh, many pictures as much as possible so that the seller the buyer will know that they're in good condition so one thing i did notice that uh, the reason why i put the free shipping initially I, some of these i actually put up as 15 dollars with the 91 cent shipping uh, but what happens is it it, it shows up as 15 dollars shipping not included so uh, that's why i revised uh, my listings to 16 dollars with free shipping so when a buyer looks for a rated rookie uh, paul george they'll see my listing first and they'll buy my cards first and i've actually been uh, i've sold a couple of these already so um, looking at my sold page i sold around seven of these uh, already uh, in, a, in a in a matter of a few days So we'll go to my eBay app and I'll show you how I search for these lots. So uh, as you can see, I already have these saved. So I have Durant, Jordan, LeBron, Luka, Tatum, and Kobe Bryant lots. Um, so we'll try to look for maybe a lot of uh, Luka. So we'll just click Luka. And so you'll see there's a 42 card of Luka here for $22.50, so 10 bids so far. So uh, this looks like a good uh, bar bargain. So um, see if you can win this. Uh, maybe my, my target for this 42 card would be maybe 60 to $70, because I think Luca will sell cheap, uh, easy. At least you can sell each for like $5. Um, and then let's uh, go to auction. So you want to go what's ending first. So you can, yeah, look for different kinds of Luca here. You even have some lots of Luca's uh, rookie cards. Uh, but of course, they're now very expensive. Before, during uh, Luca's rookie year, you can actually buy these lots for uh, way cheap, like uh, less uh, less than five or ten times what the price is right now. And, but that was before all the craziness and all the sports card boom uh, happened. Yeah, so uh, that's my strategy on how to make money on sports cards. So again, uh, really it's just going to eBay, buy lots of uh, players like uh, LeBron, Luka, Michael Jordan, and then you want to make sure you win uh, win by auction so that way you get better value and your goal should be to at least double or triple your money so it's gonna, at least it's going to be worthwhile um, if you can earn more then the better um, yeah and then so thanks guys again for watching so until our next video if you like these types of video yeah just send me a, a message or comment below and uh, once you comment below you'll also be uh, included into for the raffle uh, for the luca Aiton or baggy prism uh, rookie cards uh, so of course depending on the price of amc so uh, we'll just hope for the best so take care and have a good day guys